Got the 72 Mustang up on the rotisserie about two weeks ago. Just got the sandblasting done, so I figured I'd take a video, walk through it, and see what it looks like. Engine bay came out real good. See a new battery tray in there. New cow panel, upper and lower. New radiator support. Also just sandblasted that. Also put a new uh, cross member in there. Old one had a drag style one in it. Outside of the new battery tray. Frame mills came out pretty good. Put a new rocker on the passenger side. There's a shot of the brand new lower cow panel that was put in. Old one was all rusted out. Firewall, a couple patches on that, but it's all fixed up. Put uh, two full floor pans in it, both driver and passenger. And uh, took the seat risers out of a coupe and modified them so they fit for the fastback. Because they are different. A couple patches in the rear floors. All that stripped down, so the sandblasting came out pretty good. New uh, inner and outer wheel wells on both sides with the new quarter panels. They weren't that bad, but once we had the quarters off and had to do the outer ones, pretty much the inner ones, no brainer at the time. Got some patchwork down at the rear seat pans, the seat belt mounts. There's a passenger side floor pan and seat riser in. There's a new quarter panel. I got some glazing putty on it too to make it straight before I put this car in epoxy tomorrow. I hand stripped the body with the DA and then sandblasted the frame. There's tail panel which actually was in really good shape once it was stripped. No issues with that. Also put a new trunk panel in. Full trunk floor. That was pretty much rusted out. Missing parts of it with the car. There's a shot if you can see of the whole floor of the car. Let me see if I move the car over a little bit. Rotisserie is the best thing with no suspension on this thing. And any work you have to do underneath it. Take a look at the driver's side now. Radio support, we already saw that. There's the front fender aprons, the outer part of them. Stripped down. Another shot of the firewall on our side. Battery tray, radio support again, the cross member. The upper cow panel that was brand new. And all the way down. Door mounts, they all look good, solid. This rocker panel was actually in good shape, did not have to mess with it. Still have to strip that right there before I put in epoxy and model, get the primer off of it. Roof is in pretty good shape. Had some surface rust on it, but took care of it. A couple patches here or there. Got a patch back there in the fastback. Uh, right by the rear window.
the rear fold down seat mounts and support brackets there's the other driver side quarter that was put in some glazing putty on it at the bottom see if I could roll this car now and uh, show you the underside So on the other side of the car, you see sandblasted it right on the rotisserie, made it real easy, made the job look real good. Bottom of the firewall. Straight back the whole car. Everything looks real solid under here now. Replaced everything that was rusted out. You can actually see the new wheel wells underneath this way, it's a better angle at them. The other one right there. Besides, I also got a patch right there in the rear floor pan. Had to make, had to fix the torque boxes that were dented. Had to rebend that frame right there where the rear end looks like it hit it. Fix that torque box right there. And the bottom of the brand new trunk. Now the only thing that I do see that I am going to need to fix is right around when I blasted all the window seal in there. You can see we're all rusted up. So we're going to have to fix the window channel. Get the rust around there. And hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. But we'll get an epoxy first and then take it from there. So one more shot of the car. Shot of the roof, no issues, real solid. All in all, a good car. It's gonna be a nice one. It's done, good solid now. 72 Mustang Mach 1, and uh, yeah, I'll give you another video when we get some more updates on it. All right.